classic prince, just like Federer. Hi, you guys. I'm Beth Hoyt. This is Madam Channel Live, and today I'm going to teach you how to play tennis, kind of. You see, the US Open started this weekend. Also, I went to this Tennis 360 event where I saw Andy Roddick, and I interviewed some lesser famous tennis people, and I drank free white wine. White wine. Um, but mostly I want to talk about tennis because I love it. Not just because I think Federer is princely and I want to marry him after he gets a divorce. I really like tennis, and I'm an expert. So please, you guys, um, put in any questions about tennis that you have for me in the chat. I'll answer them, or any tips. I'm open to those, too. Uh, let's take a let's take one now. Do we have a, a comment or a yeah, we do. This is from Angel Feels Bored. I'd very much like to see Beth try and do this face. Ha ha. That looks like boobs to me with cleavage, right? Can I say that again? Um, oh, maybe it's a, oh, is it a, like a duck? Do I have a beak for that? Anyway, I can do that. I think that was it. Did I get it? It's either that or it's like this. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, First things first, let's talk about how you look to play tennis. I went, I mean, if you're gonna be a, you have to be a good athlete too, that's one thing you need to be a good tennis player, but you're never gonna get deals with brands if you don't have a look. And if you don't get the deals, then you can't pay for a personal masseuse. And then what is the point of being a professional athlete? Right, exactly, there isn't one. Okay, I chose for my look today to wear a basic top because I'm not branded yet. Once Nike or whomever decides to pay me, then I'll wear their shirts. Okay, um, I'm also, you know, wearing basic, basic skirt. I'll get to this later. And um, tennis ball colored shoes. All right, now let's get to the hair. Um, I think it's important to, you know, go with however you feel comfortable. A ponytail is common to keep a, a common athletic, you know, do. Uh, I like to wear it down just because um, it's an added challenge and because it's part of the look, you know, like, if, like the blonde girl, it's like you gotta make that part of it. You could also wear something like this. To, that could, yeah, I'll do that. And then um, here's the thing with necklaces. You know, there's always the jewelry options. It's like, are you gonna, you know, these are my mother's pearls and they're good luck. Are you gonna do that? Or are you gonna wear something that's like symbolic, like, oh, I am the feather of a bird when I, you know, play. Are you gonna do that? Or are you gonna be like, um, like Michelle Kwani, you know? and wear like the, a pendant that's just like, why are you w struggling with that huge thing? You know, remember Michelle Kwan with that necklace she always wore? Could do that. I'm going basic, basic necklace that has a B that means something to me and heavy on the earrings because uh, there's then that added, you know, challenge and skill required for it not to poke your eyeball out, which knowing me could very well happen. But also knowing me, my eyeballs aren't doing so great. So let's poke them out. Okay, we have a comment from YouTube, and this is from um, I Might Be Carla. Hmm, okay, maybe Carla. Why are tennis, why are tennis balls green? It's a very good question. And it's because the man who invented them um, is named Mr. Uh, Mr. Green. And they were like, well, what, what a great thing we could do for him, you know, then to, to name uh, these balls after him. And also uh, the Professor Green in, uh, oh, it's Professor Plum. Who's the green one in Clue? Mr. Green. <laughs> I nailed it. All right, uh, here's the next thing you want to think about is where you're going to put, uh, I look like a gypsy with the earrings and this thing. Let's just go with, now I look, you know, more like a tennis player. Okay, the next thing you got to think about is where you're going to put the balls because you know how the girls always just like stock them places? Don't the girls just always like have them in their shorts? So I'm wearing underneath my skirt shorts with pockets. So that's how you do it. You have shorts with pockets. And then you also want to put one just like, and I'm also wearing spandex, because in case when you go for a surf, you don't get any air in the woo. So I also am going to put one up there, just in case I need her to serve again. Let's put another one down here, stick one right there. And then just to have, just in case to have two more on hand, just want to make sure we have them, you know, just in case we need them very last minute for a serve. Speaking of sticking things up your butt, you guys, um, Here's a video from Linked Out. You're gonna, you'll see the connection. You'll get it. Here we go. Hi, I'm Dr. Fred Wilson, and I'm here to tell you about MedFax, a new app that diagnoses all of your medical symptoms in just a matter of seconds. Sounds crazy, right? Well, say you want to check your temperature. All you have to do 
is open the app, load the page, and then stick it up your butt. Oh, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool. Yes, that is cool. But what if your throat hurts? Just put it in my mouth? Uh, not so fast. Before you do that, you're going to need to go ahead and stick it up your butt. Wait, I put the phone in my mouth after I stick it in? That's right. Before you know it, you'll find out if you have bronchitis, strep, or just a simple sore throat. Huh, strep. I guess that's kind of cool. What happens if you want to take a chest x-ray? Does Medfax do that too? Sure does. Just place the screen of the phone on your chest for five seconds. Oh, nice. Now stick it up your butt. What? Podiatry? I think I can take a guess. That's right. Just stick it up your butt. Gynecology? But I don't have a vagina. Doesn't matter. Just stick it up your butt. Urology? Right. Stick it up your butt. Proctology? Oh, I got this one. Stick it up my butt. No. Press the phone against your lower back. Hold your breath for five seconds and then wait for the beep. Okay. Then stick it up your butt. Jesus Christ, are we done here? No, there's more. Now you can get Medfax on your tablet as well. No, A no, absolutely not. Not gonna happen. Medfax, just stick it up your butt. <sighs> Is that a wrap? Hey, I'm Steve Renazizi from Daddy Knows Best and you're watching my damn channel live. Cool, okay, so another reason I'm thinking I'm athletic is because we're working with Bleach Report and some stuff. You guys should check out their YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Bleacher, Bleacher Report. They're really fun. They're the guys who I went to three, Tennis 360 with, drink some white wine with, and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff with them in the future, sports, sportsy-like. Okay, here's something that's really confusing about tennis, and you should figure out before you become a ten professional tennis player. It's the scoring. If you know nothing about it, you, just, you might have to get a book on it. It's very complicated. Okay, here it goes. It goes game, set, match. So if you win a game, you're like, great, I won. But really, it's like big deal. You have to win six of them. Don't even get me started if there's a tie break. It's very confusing. After you win six, then you're like, then you won the set. And you're like, awesome. Don't think you get to go eat a Snickers yet. In the US Open, for example, you have to play two if you're a girl, three if you're a boy, and then those are games. And then you win the match. Did I lose you? Also, love means zero, which is what I tell myself on lonely nights. Sing. That was harmful to myself. All right, we have a comment from YouTube. Um, Setianals Bella. Well, okay, let's do it again. Setianals Bella. That's a tough one. It's a lot of A's in there. I'd like to know who Beth is first time on this channel with this face. A lot of faces. The, like, and then just like this. Like to know who Beth is? Um, that's, where do we begin, you guys? I'm a tennis player <laughs> extraordinaire. Just a really big time athlete. Um, you know, I can handle you know losing. I like to win, but uh, I'm not. I don't often do that. Winning. I'm afraid of octopus. We learned yesterday. I didn't. You did. I knew. I've known that for quite a while. I'm afraid of thrills. Um, I'm allergic to chlorine. That's new. That's, I mean, it's not new to me again. New to, I've lived with it. I am me. I've been, this are ten, these are tennis balls. This is not me. That's a few things. Okay, now how about I teach you guys some tennis strokes? Should we do that? Uh, we'll keep going through your comments and questions, so keep sending those in. All right, I've got balls everywhere. Let's start with one of these. Okay, so this is how you serve. Um, basically, you just, you want to, um, pounce the ball as many times, about 45 times. So you just wanna really, really intimidate the other person. And what the other person is doing is just getting more and more nervous and doing this hoppy thing to keep like the blood circulating through your legs, okay? So you just keep on bouncing the ball. Um, you guys can go get a snack or make a sandwich. I'm still gonna just be doing this before my serve. We have a comment. It's from I Love Cookies 98. Who's your favorite tennis player and why? It's Federer because he's like a prince. I want to marry him. Uh, I really like Federer a lot. I mean, I really like, I like Nadal too. Uh, and I really like Serena Williams. I know I've had some arguments with this about people, with people about this, but I think she's like a real athlete. I like watching her play because she's a great tennis player, but mostly she's just like an athlete. Speaking of which, let's get into the serve, which is what Serena does. And she just aces it. Can we get the other one up in here? Oh, pull it out of your butt. So then when you're doing this a million times, 
And then the grunt you want to do with a serve is, it's very complicated because you're throwing this up there and first you want to throw it up and then go, oh, no, 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 the wind, the wind. Then you throw it up again and you're going to want to just slam it as hard as you can with a grunt that comes from like up here because you're up there doing it, okay? So I'm not going to use this ball, but I'm going to show you the example of the motion and then the grunt. Okay, ready? So you throw it and then you go, ah! That's a grunt, that's a serve grunt, okay? And the next, the next stroke, where is that? Is from this tennis, is the forehand. And the forehand is just the most basic stroke and it just goes like this, like that. That's all you do. And then, um, excuse me, so you go like this and it's just the most basic uh, stroke, so it's the most basic grunt, okay? So basically, you can practice this at home. Just get up and do this with me. Um, it's just basically goes, ha! It's just like that. And you want to rotate on this back foot. Ha! It's like that. The next stroke is the hardest. And um, I just always, whenever I play, I just try to make everything the forehand. So if someone hits it to my backhand, I just go, oh, no, you didn't! And I go over here, and I hit it with the forehand. It's once in a while when they really get me and I'm forced to do the backstroke. It's so hard, right, guys? Backstroke is tough because unless you're ambidextrous. Anyway, the backstroke, since it's such a hard, since it's such a hard stroke, you have to really um, use a, a grunt that comes from down here. So that involves being like, ready? So this is when you're like, ah, oh, damn you for making me backstroke. You go, Ugh! got it? So this one's just a, ah, this one's, Ugh! all right. So I'm gonna just hit a few balls now. Oh, and there's the last one is the little volley. When you just go like this, it's just a real light, like, so, oh, we have a comment from YouTube. It's, is this awkward enough? Great name. How come I don't have that one? Um, Beth, make the noise of a sloth. You know you want to. And then, yeah, I want to. I think I got to get rid of the, It's like this, right? Um, <laughs> not that. Is that right? OK. Um, so let, Nate's gonna, Nate, can you throw me some balls? So there are some people here that are, you guys all know, none of you have insurance. I'm gonna kill you. We're gonna use, well, ah, I wasn't ready, Nate. Oh, that grunt is a grunt of a girl. That's a girl squeal. That's not a tennis grunt. I wasn't ready. I'm gonna hit some ping pong balls because we don't want to kill the studio with tennis balls, but I don't mind hurting these guys with ping pong. Here we go. This is all forehand. It's good. Uh, uh, uh. We can, you can. Let me try a backhand. I can try it. Uh, oh, good. I was getting kind of winded. Let's look at another comment from YouTube. It's from Sabringarinis. You guys, this is challenging. So, in order to play tennis, is some training in martial arts recommended? Absolutely. Nate. Uh, uh, it's just to be good on your toes and also to keep you centered. So uh, I, I actually did study Aikido in college, which is weird because it's with a bunch of old men and I just like threw all these old men around. This sounds like I'm making it up. It's actually true and very weird. Um, so that helps you be grounded and it helps with the grunting. Yeah, that's why it helps. So they really do go hand in hand, tennis and martial arts. Next comment is from um, Try, Try Give Hemming Height. Try, see, oh, uh, nice, nice. Try pronouncing my name, and then a lot of tongues out at me. Yeah, you got me. That was a good joke. That was a really good one. I need to get that energy that out. You got me kind of angsty. Ah, try give her my gun. This is <laughs> that's a grunt using your username. Ah, 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 ah. How am I doing, guys? Oh, okay, let's do a serve. Here, I'll do it myself. Oh gosh, I didn't say I could catch balls. Ready? So you bounce and bounce and bounce. I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna not, hopefully not. Oh, that hits it. That, this might be dangerous. I'll go, I'll do it on my knees. Okay, that's what she said. All right. That was a perfect serve grunt, you guys. All right, and we have another comment from YouTube. Uh, Extreme 29, I'm very, I'm trying very hard not to make any dirty jokes. So was I. So was I. I failed. Did you? Um, definitely failed. So, all right, let's keep playing. 
Uh, unless you guys, Nate, now you're just throwing them in my center. I understand that my job is probably to move, but you could just throw it, make me look good, you know? Uh, uh, oh, I hit Nate on that. Oh, I, I didn't mean to catch it. I meant to hit it. I think I pretty much nailed it. That's how you guys play tennis. Um, so be sure to subscribe. Thank you for being in the comments today. And tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern because our big show is hosted by both Grace and me. We're going to be chatting it up with you guys a lot from the live chat. So stay in the chat until tomorrow. No, come back tomorrow at 4. Um, it's our big final summer party. It's going to be really fun. See you then. Bye.